Hello, howdy, happy Sunday, right? Right? I got it right. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hello, w welcome. Uh, how are you guys? How are you guys doing today on Sunday? <laughs> uh, let's see. Shushko, Tentacle Chow, Child, Cloud Strife, Belber Psych, Three, Shabababa. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Let's see, I asked you guys for eight puns, because I might change the title after the stream, but... Because... Because we ate that feels like it's funny, but it's not too funny. <laughs> so, Shishko, you suggested may have your attention. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Clutch drives time for some farming eight to kit. God, you guys are better at this than I am. Don't ask me for a pun, I'm just a hater. Ha! Ah, skate the infinity. I totally forgot that eight is probably one of the most used numbers in puns, isn't it? Right? Eight really is just because it it's just like it's a syllable. It's in so many words, you know? Hate, skate, fate, late, mate, wait, nate. <laughs> you know, it's just a sound in English. <laughs> uh. Uh, in my defense, I made, um, I had another pun before we ate that as a title earlier today. Cause I set, I went to sleep kind of late and I set my alarm for 9, um, AM so that I could have this, this, um, waiting room up like six hours before the stream starts. Cause I, that's kind of what I like to do. It's not like a strict rule. It's not like something I've researched or anything. I'm just like... Yeah, I feel like six hours is good enough warning, <laughs> you know, like I'm going to be streaming now. If you if you want to hang out, if you want to if you want to know when I'm streaming and exactly know the waiting room, like he, six hours ahead of time feels like a good enough warning. Um, so I set my alarm. I woke up and I was I was so groggy. I was like, oh, I want to go back to sleep. Ugh. So I just like hastily made the tweet and the and the the waiting room. And then I went right back to sleep. <laughs> I went, I conked right back out for like another two hours. Um, so I feel a lot better now, but I, I, that means that I wasn't at full brain capacity this morning when I was writing everything down. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> let's, let's get back into the game because um, I'm going to have a strict cutoff point today of le under three hours because at 6 p.m uh next stage is debuting uh like code codex is doing their debut concert and um i wrote a song for them so i don't want to stream over that <laughs> so i'll probably retweet it on my main twitter vocal circuits when it happens um but that's happening soon so we can't like raid them or anything but yeah, I, I don't want. I, I'm going to t like link you guys to it when I can. So <laughs> let's play the game in the meantime. Let's let's have a fun three hours before you launch a concert. <laughs> Woo! Gaming. All right, Stardew Valley. I gotta make sure the volume is okay because I always have to turn the volume way down for um for my tablet. Uh, colorful stage is always so loud. Colorful Stage really is probably the loudest um, phone app that I have. It used to be Love Live, but who plays Love Live anymore, right? <laughs> All right, let me see. Actually, I think I saw a tweet of at least Plum, who said like the debut is happening. I might, I might retweet her tweet uh, on my main if I can. While the game starts up, I'm alt tapping. I'm tabbed out. Here we go. retweeting it oh wait they have a waiting room open wait i can link you guys to it all right will there be a vod there probably will be i'm pretty sure they're gonna save it but that's where i will direct you guys after the stream i need to save that link i'm not like officially affiliated or anything well i think i i just got commissioned to write their song and i want to at least show a little bit of support when I can. <laughs> <clears throat> Ugh. Ugh. 
Ugh. And I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. But I'm also excited to <sighs> jump into fall of year one on the candy farm. Let's go. Let's go. So other than all that, how are you guys? I saw Shushko, you said you're making pancakes. That sounds good for you. <laughs> I'm a pancake hater though, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's check the TV. The Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, tortillas. How many of you are gnawing on a microwave convenience burrito while watching this program? Shame on you. You might as well wrap your beans in an old wash, wash rag. Now listen up. Once you've tried my fresh rustic corn tortillas, you'll never go back. BGM is still on. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, that fixed. All right. <clears throat> we learned how to cook tortillas. What else is going on today? Ooh, I see a glimmer with my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are in good humor today. Cool. And then the weather. Is it gonna rain tomorrow? Beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. No rain. So, how are we doing? How are we doing? Everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the eggplants. Oh, yeah, the eggplants. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, the eggplants. Wow. Well, let's get to harvesting. So, what happened last stream was um, I picked up a weekly mission, we unlocked those, and the first one was to harvest 100 of a specific crop. Uh, from Lewis, I believe. And uh, he was like, can someone harvest 100 eggplant uh, by the end of the season? And I was like, that's a lofty goal, but that's easier than the other option, which was 25 gold quality crops, although now that I'm looking at these eggplants, I probably could have done that too. Um, at least it's less risk, right? So I was like, I'm gonna buy a bunch of eggplants. Thinking that I have to rebuy seeds and replant them whenever I harvest them. But then I learned, I think yesterday, because these are also eggplants, I learned They regrow. Also, I'm moving myself over so you can see my my energy. They regrow. So, I've got. I'm gonna have a lot of eggplants this fall. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many eggplants. Oh my god. Uh. More money. I mean, it's probably good because I get to, like, this uh, quest is liter literally ship a hundred eggplants and I've harvested 90. I planted so many. Uh... Boom. Do I need them for, um, yeah, all right, I'll save one. Do I need them for quality crops anymore? No, I've already finished the, qu the quality, quality crops. Uh... Oh, geez. After we get the pumpkin? Oh, we should upgrade the barn. Do we have enough? No, we don't have enough. Hold on. It's not... It's taken me... Two seconds to go to the Stardew Valley Wiki. <laughs> I am already on the Stardew Valley Wiki. Barn. No, wait. Big barn? Big barn. Um, big barn, that's 12k gold, 450 wooden, 200 stone. All right, but once, once we do that, we can get something else. All right, oh, we can harvest these, harvest these guys as well, and then run over here, do, 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 do harvest this, and maybe, let's get distracted and pet, pet all my creatures. Oh. Didn't even see that guy. Uh, whatever this once was, 
It's now in ruins. Oh yeah. But I'm saying though, if we upgrade the barn and we get a goat, we can probably have the um the greenhouse maybe even by the end of winter. Like I'm, or at least by year 2. I think we're on track for that. I'm missing a cow. Did you wander way down here? Moo. Where are you? Moo. Lavaka. Moo. Oh, it's up here. All right. Got it. Wow, we're getting three iridium milk a day. They must really be happy. All right, now let's check on the eggs. Oh, 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 all right. Eat, no, I don't want to eat it. Is there another egg that I'm missing? Whoa, there was. It'd be so good, I always failed to get the quality parsnips and stuff. Yeah, the quality crops were really what get me every year, but I, I rushed those. I was like, I gotta, I gotta go. We gotta do that. Um, so, if I don't need the quality eggplants, I'm just going to sell them. Um, I'll also sell all my good corn, but I'll keep the, the normal corn because, you know, for cooking. I almost had a moment, I was like, what's this sound? It's the, it's the drum kit. I made that sound. I made that there on purpose. All right, so we don't have to water stuff, which is great. I love that. Um, we do, oh shoot, maybe I needed better crops for um, uh, in the future. We have to do the fair. Well, I have, I have a gold star fruit. Wait, I have a gold ancient fruit already. We're fine. Oh wait, I'm keeping all this corn? Why did I keep all this corn? Why am I doing that? Should I not have sold my other corn? What does past me know that current me doesn't? I'm afraid. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. If it is a glaring issue, it will come to me all of a sudden. Ugh. Oh, we can, we can fast travel to town. I forgot we can do that now. Alright, let's give <clears throat> this four these four mayonnaises. Let's give them to some people. Let's try and befriend the whole town. What are our, our friendships right now? Elliot! Oh yeah, you know what? We're going to Elliot. Because I'm thinking of romancing Elliot. He's the one I'm leaning towards the most. I'm really hoping that we can get a duck feather for him. Because we have ducks. But, I don't know. I feel like duck feathers are really rare. Is he home? <gasps> Where's my man? Where'd he go? He's not home? On a Sunday? At noon? Well, I mean, I guess growing up, um, Whenever, like every single Sunday, me and my mom and my grandmother, we would always run errands. It was like, you know, it was like that day of like, okay, it's Sunday. Everyone get up at eight in the morning. It's time to go out for like seven hours. Oh, there's my mans. So it makes sense to, to not be home on a Sunday. This is for me marvelous. I have to remember to water my plants today, and not with seawater this time. Yeah. Oh, Elliot. Look at all these worms, whoa. Whoops. I found a book. Are there any plants that like seawater? Like, it's so salty, it probably, like, kills plants, right? I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a... Plantologist. I'm just a, a clown. Hey, Harvey. 
Here's some mayo. That's such a nice gift. I, I skipped your dialogue. Hmm, <laughs> I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess you should try to get patience from the neighboring towns. Seaweed and kelp? Oh, that makes sense. Well, yeah, because they're from the sea. Oh, Evelyn. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. All right, what's up? My eyesight may be poor, but my nose hasn't failed me yet. I can smell fallen leaves and mushrooms. It reminds me of the forests I used to play in as a girl. Oh yeah, it's fall. I like fall. Oh, we have a quest. Put a ruby on my shelf. 750 gold. I hope we have one. Why am I in here? <laughs> I don't need to do anything in there. I think I got confused. I'm... I'm <laughs> my brain is deteriorating in my old age. Oh. I want to go in here. And use this egg plant. Right here. No, all we need is a pumpkin, which we're going to get on the 13th, I think, right? And also either goat milk or wool. So rabbits can give wool too, right? Would it... How, how much does it cost? Hold I'm going to pause. There's a rabbit down there. We could just, we could just run after it. Uh, how much does it cost to get a big coop? Would that be a... No, like a deluxe coop? Yeah. 20k! Never mind. We need the big barn. That's easier. That's a lot easier. Rabbit, give me your wool. Hmm. Alright. Well, all that's stopping us from getting the big barn right now is 2k gold. So... Hey, Linus, you want some mayonnaise? No, wait, you want a berry. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. All right. Demetrius, do you like mayo? Very interesting specimen. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. I guess that's kind of difficult when you live on a farm, though. Hey, at least in the winter you don't have to worry about crops. Heh, <laughs> heh, that's what you think. I'm going to be worrying about, um, what should I worry about? Winter seeds? Um, what else is there? Uh, fiber? Fiber seeds? Should I worry about fiber seeds in the winter? <laughs> Kind of just mindlessly ran to the mines. Huh, get it? Mindlessly ran to the mine. <laughs> Comedy genius. Oh, way down. I've been, uh, oh, another way down. I finally caught up on a lot of the work I've, I've been working on, right? And um, I'm in that moment where I'm like, what do I do? Now that I'm like, all caught up with work, what is there more for me to do in this world, you know? I remember once I fin I finished something um, the other night at like, at like 1 a.m. I think? No, it was 12, 12.30 in the morning. I finished something, I finished typing up like an email and I sent it off, right? And then, up until then, I, I had been staying up really late. I had been, you know, like, doing whatever. I had been, if anything, I've been having trouble going to sleep. I've been doing that almost, like, rebellious staying up late so that I had more time to do stuff at night. But the second I got my work done, I collapsed into a puddle of goo. I was so, re like, I guess having nothing to procrastinate on anymore made me suddenly get hit with the weight of, like... Hey, you can chill out now. And I was like, ugh. And I just fell over and immediately fell asleep. 
<laughs> it's funny how that happens, right? I tend to be more productive on other projects when I'm procrastinating on one specific project. And now that I have nothing really to procrastinate on, uh, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I'm, I am just vibing. I'm just chilling. I am not doing anything. I really, I feel like for me to be productive, I kind of need to have like a, a fire under my butt. You know, I need to feel like, feel like I'm stressed. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> which probably isn't the healthiest thing. Probably a sign that I should uh. Find better worth work life balance, but at least I at the very least, it's funny. At the very least, it's good for the bit. You know? <laughs> and you know, why else do anything in this world if not for the comedy of it all? Yo, oh yeah, today was an okay luck day, wasn't it? We got space boots. Space boots. We received space boots. Plus three, plus three, and these are plus four, plus four. Purple. Space boots. Whoa. Wow. I don't think we're gonna make it to the bottom of the mines, but like, we're already on floor 110. 120 is the bottom of the mines. I'm just running. I'm just going. Orble. Oh yeah, Orble! That reminds me. I've been going through my another FNAF phase. Five points at Freddy's. And I've, I've been... I think Twitter knows. Because it recommended me those like... Like, not to dunk on anyone. Because I don't think... I Like, I get it. You know, and I think it's fine. It's cute. It just feels so surreal to me. I got recommended those like, that like fan art of like purple guy and purple guy's family as if they were just like actual like a real family. You know, like ignoring the fact that purple guy's son is now like an anima like an empty shell of being like an animatronic, and that purple guy himself like created like a bunch of murderous monsters. It was just like, oh, haha, look at them. They're a family. And I was, and I still, I can't, I, that's so funny to me. It's like, purple guy, he's nothing else but purple. He's evil and purple. That's, that's all I know purple guy has. <laughs> he is evil, and he is the color of evil, which is purple. So it's always funny to see fan art that's like, oh, he, uh, he's part of a family. He's got three kids. And I'm like, I mean, you're right. He does have three kids. But he's also just an evil purple guy. <laughs> I can't comprehend it. It's funny to me. I think I think fan art that like explores stuff like that about about fairly one-dimensional characters, let's be honest, is really funny. It really kind of makes you go, oh yeah, huh, this character's meant to be more than just evil and purple. But to me, he's always just evil and purple. I well, found out that Purple Guy had an actual name, like, last year. Yeah, right? William Afton. I mean, I knew that because it's lore relevant. It's not like it. It's not like the names of characters that are hidden. It's like... Like, at the start of Sister Location, doesn't it say, like, with all due respect, Mr. Afton, that's not what we were talking about. Like... Or whatever. Oh god, it's midnight. It's not like a hidden away name. Like, there's some characters in other franchises who are like... What is it? Like, Sonic's real name? Doesn't Sonic the Hedgehog have a real name? And we just, like, we all ignore it because it's in the comics and it's so silly. Is Purple Guy a Tumblr Sexy Man is the real question. Oh, without a doubt. I wouldn't say it's the definition of Tumblr Sexy Man, but it's definitely an offshoot. In whatever way Sans is a Tumblr sexy man, Purple Guy's a Tumblr sexy man in like the opposite direction. Does that make sense? I do, do, <laughs> does that make sense to anyone? <laughs> I 
All right, we got... Oh, I need the purple mushroom for the community center. Wait. In an Archie comic, Sonic's dead name is Oigilvy Maurice. Oh yeah, Maurice Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. I feel like I doxed someone. You doxed Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you doxed him. Level nine farming, yo! Seed maker, whoa! Wow, we got that, we got there fast. All right, I guess I gotta figure out how to make a seed maker tomorrow. Oh, and we, yes, we have enough money to buy the big barn. Unless it's like a Tuesday or whatever. <laughs> Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. It's blackberry season. Bushes across the countryside are overflowing with ripe fruit. Just go outside and see for yourself. Oh wait, Elliot likes blackberries. <gasps> We've found it. Elliot will be mine. All right, the fortunes today. Somewhat annoyed, okay. Cloudy with gusts of wind. All right. Yo, Pickles. Oh, Amaranth. What's this? Hello. It's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Absolutely, Linus. Don't worry about it. I have exceeding knowledge of where your basket is located. Trust me. Don't question why I know, but I do know where your basket is. <laughs> um, so let's put some more things in there. What, what am I pickling right now? Hops? No, corn. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then, well, let's sell this. Maybe I should be saving the pale ale to give to, like, Pam. Miss Pamela. But, I don't know. I want the ducks to go back in the pond. I saw it happen once, and I want to see it happen again. Mer. There's another cow down here, right? Mer. Silly cows, you can't get in the chicken coop. You're too big. I can get in the chicken coop because I have opposable thumbs. Whoa. We're starting to get iridium quality stuff from these guys. <laughs> I think that means they like us. Oh, hey, another ancient fruit. Oh, yeah, the seed maker. All right. Let's uh, stick this back there. How do I make a seed maker? Wood? Coal, gold bar. That's easy. I mean, I think it's a lot of coal, but... Seed maker! We don't get one of these for free, do we? Well, I don't care. Seed maker. Seed maker. Maker of the seeds. Boom. All right. Seed maker, I beg of thee, take mine normal ancient fruit 
and make it into more. Alright. Now let's put the coal away. And let's go to Robin. Let's up- oh! One. Okay. It's fine, you can't win them all. Make one more. And actually, that is still a plus, because that... The plant keeps growing, and once I get a greenhouse, that one will be a forever plant. Or once I go to the island? No, you plant star fruit in the... On the, on the summer forever island, whatever. What's it called? Ginger Island? Ginger Island. But that's like far away. That's like really far away. I don't even know if we'll ever get there because I'm not good at fishing. <laughs> you need to like fish every single fish and I don't do that. <laughs> I suppose next year uh, I'll start to look at every season and see what fish I need to catch in each season to make sure we can catch every single fish. I could start now. <laughs> Maybe I should start now. Uh, we'll see. First, let's construct a farm building. Big barn! Big barn, big barn. Big barn, big barn. Make this barn! Big! This one. I'll start working on your big barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Yes. Oh, hey, wait. Robin, you want some mayonnaise? You want some mayonnaise? That's really nice. Also, what do you have to say? Maru likes gems. She uses them in her inventions. I need to give Jody a ruby. Oh my god. But first off, Maru, you want some mayo? Have you explored the mines much? I've heard you can find some useful materials there. You're right, I need a ruby. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Vocaloid 4 ruby, where are you? Come on. Oh, 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 oh. I'm running. I hope I have one in stock. I might just keep... I might not, actually. We'll see. I just assume I have every single gem because, like, you know, when I go into the mines so much, which I normally do, I always have plenty of gems, but we're still only on year one. I don't have a whole stockpile of a bunch of gems. Ooh, two ancient seeds. Ruby, 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 Ruby. <gasps> ah! Ruby! Jody, 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 Jody. And also I need to go to Marnie for the for the Amaranth. And also I need to go to Harvey. We need to go to Marnie, Harvey, Jody for the Ruby. Ah! Harvey! Harvey and Marnie! No, wait. Harvey! Marnie! Oh, the emerald they asked for. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. Um, Jody, I got your ruby. <laughs> Let me go through your trash first. Jody, Jody, I got your ruby. Hey, you brought me the item I asked for. I really appreciate it. Here's your payment, as promised. Oh. <laughs> We got money. We finished two quests. We have to find Linus's bas basket and find the mayor's shorts. Are we friends enough with Marnie? We are. All right. You know what? Let's. Let's talk to Marnie. I love animals, Mr. Circus. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. And I have an idea. I've got a plan. Uh, 
Oh no, what's in that? Oh my god, oh my god, it's Lucky Purple Shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Oh, he'll see it all right. I have all my eggplants. Whoa! Cranberries! I forgot I planted these. Do I need them for anything? Wait. No. Might be good to just hold on to anyways. Also. Heh. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just hide those in there for now. But this is where I'm putting, like, crops. Yeah. Crops I don't quite know what to do with. No, don't eat the purple mushroom. Oh my god, you die. I think. Let's do some organizing real quick. I'm going to put all the harvestable crops in this one, which works out because now I can take these. One. Uh, whatever. It's still... Even if we just get one, it pays out more in the end because we started out with two and now we have four. So, you know, we've at least done something. Um, our barn's being upgraded tomorrow. Look at all these pickles. I need to remember to gift these pickles to Harvey. <laughs> I always forget. Oh well. One. Ugh. Um. Here. Start taking the better ones. But now we have five. All right. I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the community center. And then, hmm, it's already 3 p.m. Maybe we could try fishing. I said I would start to take fishing more seriously. This game really brings out me do, saying I'll do 50 billion things and then getting more and more distracted. Also, here's where my clairvoyant knowledge about Linus's basket comes into play. Oh, wow. It's a berry basket. I better return it to Linus. How did I know it was here? It's like I played this game before or something. Oh, also we can give these berries to, um, to Elliot. Cause he likes them. Oh, there's a quest, what's up? Evelyn's in need of a gold bar. Oh, easy. I can do that right now, but I won't because I said I would go to the community center. <laughs> Clearly you are the basket thief? No, no, no way. No way. I would never steal a basket. but it would steal a mushroom. Yay, bundle complete. What do we get for this one? A recycling machine. Great. Perfect for if we're gonna start fishing <laughs> more often, actually. And you know what? We're starting to get some money. I think I'll do the cheap bundle here, the, tw the 2500 bundle. These bundles, you just pay gold for. You just are like, you purchase them. There we go. We got a chocolate cake. Three of them. All right. Um, I need to not get too distracted. Um, I need to go get a gold bar for Evelyn. Um, and hopefully by the time I come back, it's like saloon time. And we can catch like Elliot in the saloon, hopefully, and give him a berry. 
and um, um, maybe I should have gone up north so that I can run by by Linus to give him his berry basket back. But oh, thanks for the switch follow. I forgot to turn the alert box off. <laughs> I think I forgot to turn my Twitch chat emotes off too. So like if you send an emote in my Twitch chat while I'm streaming here, it might fall on my face. Not to give you any ideas, but I'm just giving you an idea. Although maybe it, yep. <laughs> There you go. Oh, and you can see both chats overlaid. I for, I didn't even... I normally hide the other chat. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Do you guys want the double chat experience? <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep the double chat experience. It's funny. It's incomprehensible, but that's why there's live chat replay on YouTube. <laughs> How are they doing that? In my Twitch chat. Um, I'll hide it now, because it is becoming hard to read. Now I get to use your emotes. Yeah, if you put emotes in my Twitch chat, they fall. Hold my face. I never grabbed the gold bar. Ah, uh, wait, wait, Evelyn's home closes at eight. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> um, let's see. Baronet, you too? Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. We're just here to chill. Ah. <laughs> uh what I do? What happened? Hi, I'll take your order in a few moments. I'm going to finish my coffee. Oh, it's Elliot! Oh, did we do something? Hello, Circus. What a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in to relax after an eight-hour writing session. Eight! Get it? Because this is, this is, this is episode eight. Ha! Huh, even he gets it. Bartender, two of your finest ales, please. <laughs> that, that, that. There you go, sir. Wait, I propose a toast to... To your doom! <laughs> do you think he'd like that? Do you think he'd be into it? Do you think he'd go, ha ha ha? Or do you think he'd be like, oh. I'm gonna assume he'd be like, <laughs> Uh, To our friendship. I, I think. I'm gonna go with that. To our friendship. Yes. That's a great idea. Here's to us. Plus 17 energy. <gasps> Strong stuff. Oh, he's dancing. He dancing, we laughing. <laughs> and now we have a debuff. All right, well that means that he's gotta be in there, right? That means that Elliot's gotta be in here, right? Uh, I want to give him a present. Elliot. Oh, he's not even here. Uh, Elliot. Are, is, are you at home? Wait, can I do another quest while I have my current quest going on? Mm. 
we can take another quest while while we have one going on. Pierre's Prime Produce. Hello there for an upcoming promotion. We could we could do Pierre's Prime Produce, but that I think we would just do the the hundred pieces of bone sounds easier. Does it? Does it sound easier actually? Huh. I feel like Pierre's Prime Produce might be easier with all of the eggplants that we've planted. The eggs that we planted, the eggplants that we've egg planted. I guess I'll do this one. So we have both crop order, which is going to be done soon, and Pierre's Prime Produce, which is... Yeah. Oh, I have to bring Evelyn a gold bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Linus, his basket. Wait, I was I got so distracted. I was looking for Elliot. Well, his... If his place isn't closed by 8, it's definitely, definitely closed by 9. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. He's asleep by 8. He... He had an 8-hour writing session and he went to sleep at 8 o'clock and... He just ate... Some... Some... Ate... Alcohol. Instead of alcohol. Get it? I'm trying to... I'm really trying to shoehorn that pun in there. Well, let's go home. I didn't get to get the gold bar for Evelyn. I didn't get to give a gift to Elliot, but at least we saw a heart event. You know what can fix me? If this, if this ancient fruit is more than one seed. Gosh darn it. really a hard knock life, isn't it? It's bats. Oh. Two of them! Ah I'm juking them. I'm juking them. I'm going to sleep. I have full energy. I've got full energy. Do I want to go to sleep? I want to end the day, yeah. Wow, we made so much money. It's because I keep hoarding all, all, all of my crops that I don't know what to do with. All right, what's what's on the TV? Neutral today, okay. Cloudy with gusts of wind, all right. Oh, Marnie. Good morning, Mr. Circus. I came by to ask you a favor since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you would bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye. Well, lucky for you, I hoard every single thing I pick up. And I am sure to have a cave care. I've got 12 of them. Marnie, don't you worry. Uh, dear Circus, how are things going? You must really be making a fortune on that farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. Love, Mom. P.S. Enjoy the cake. Oh. Dear neighbor, while it, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. Hope you like this. Marnie. Whoa. Dear Circus, one week from today we are holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. It's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can set up a grange display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it. Mary Lewis. Oh, I've got some plans. Oh, I've got some plans, Lewis, for, for the fair. <laughs> Let's put this cake away. Not even in the fridge. We're just putting it in a in a box outside. Maybe I should put all my cooked food in the fridge. That would make sense. <laughs> nah, making sense is boring. Three. I'm gonna save one ancient fruit just in case. 
We got an artichoke. What do I want to do with it? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, ooh, we got, we got some trees. Some tree tappers who have given us things that we can use. What do we need to make a keg? Wood, copper, iron, oak, resin. Oh, I could make two more kegs if I wanted to. That feels like a good thing to do. So wood, copper. Oh, I can only, I need, I need to smelt more copper. Oh boy. Let's do that. Two. All right, so we ended up with 12 ancient seeds, which once we get the greenhouse, that's pretty good. And we got cloth, wait a minute. Don't we need that? No. No, we don't. We don't need that at all. Um, I don't know where to organ where to put that organizationally. I guess up here. All right, I'm gonna make some kegs. I don't know if I'm gonna go the whole, you know like ancient fruit wine route but i'm really building up to it just because it's like easy an easy goal if you know what i mean you know it's not like easy to do but it's an easy goal to have also i i need to chop down more trees oh my goodness You know what? I, I maybe could use some more copper, so I'll smelt some. <sighs> you know, I haven't really been playing chill games for a little while. Like, I had a whole moment where I was playing a whole bunch of chill games in a row, you know? That's kind of when I started playing Stardew One Stream. Um, but lately, I've kind of been more ex interested in trying to do like story games, you know? Like games that are kind of not out of my comfort zone, but no, maybe that, yeah, maybe out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Cause I normally really love comfy games, but I kinda have been getting that itch to try and experience like a big open world or a story or whatever again, you know? Which is why I'm easing into it by playing some Sonic. <laughs> not that it's the most challenging over like big story world or whatever, but it's not non-existent. <laughs> there there's there's plot in Sonic Adventure, I promise. It's it's there. Is it good? I never said that, but it's there. <laughs> what kind of games are you guys been have you guys been really into lately? Have you been going through like a chill farming sim moment, or have you um, been trying to do other types of games? Are you playing a lot of phone games? I have been playing a lot of Sonic Speed Simulator. An embarrassing amount, I would say. An amount that I'm not really proud of. Before winter, should I be harvesting more and more, um, hay? Maybe. Don't eat the eggs. Eggs are not for eating. Eggs are for storing in a chest and staring at them. Bounce it between RPGs and rhythm games. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, uh, I feel like I need to play more rhythm games. I feel like a fake rhythm gamer, because I only really play, like, colorful stage. Right now. But, to be honest, all I really want to play is colorful stage. I had a moment the other day, um, 
It was right before I had finished my work I had to do. So it was while I was in procrastination mode. Um, where I was like, you know what? I haven't done it in a little bit on EN. I am going to clear every single song on every single difficulty that I haven't already cleared, you know? Because they had been releasing a bunch of new songs like every other day for a while. And they've been piling up. And I hadn't, you know, cleared them on easy, normal, and hard. So I sat down and I did that for like three hours. And it wasn't three normal hours, it was the hours of 1 to 4 a.m. <laughs> And I had a blast. I had so much fun doing that. I just like, I cleared all the songs and every single difficulty. I put on like a, a let's play in the background. You know, I multitasked. And, and I just, I made, I had the satisfaction of filling out my, uh, the little pink crystals that show the, the clears of every song. Also, wait, was that an overkill? Was that, was... No, okay. We're still getting hay. So, hey, duck. Cha-cha. Feels like Ozu for iOS is right around the corner. Nice! That sounds fun. I totally play that. Totally give it a shot. Oh, it's like Robin in the barn. Hey, Robin. Do you want some mayo? Can I chat with you? Be patient, I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy the mayo I gave you. The mayonnaise. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's grab a gold bar to give to Evelyn. Let's put away all this fruit. Let's put it up here. Well, not the wild plum, just the orange and the peach. Oh, I've got plenty of blackberries. I'm gonna take one for for Elliot. And uh, all right, so we've got a few things to do. Ah, uh, gold bar. <laughs> I almost forgot. I almost forgot. All right. Uh, gold bar, Evelyn, pickles, Harvey, um, blackberry, Elliot, uh, cave carrot, Marnie, basket, Linus. Okay. That's a lot to remember. Harvey. Um. Do I have an appointment? No. But that doesn't matter. Harvey. I don't care what you're doing to Lewis. Take. Oh. Wait. Mario, do you want some mayo? Hey, actually. Mayor Lewis. I know you're a little busy. You want some mayo? He was he was quivering. He was quaking in his little booties. <laughs> um, alright. Uh Evelyn. Oh, is that the gold bar I requested? I really appreciate it. Here's your payment as promised. Yay. Money. Alright. Um, Elliot. Elliot. Have I already given him two presents this week, actually? No. Elliot. Elliot, where are you? Oof. Are you are you at home, Elliot? Are you in your cabin? No. Where are you? Oh, there's worms. Elliot, wherefore art thou? I have a berry to give to you. He doesn't want it. He never wants my berries. Elliot. <laughs> Maybe he is at the store? No. Emily is, though. Hey, Pierre. 
You want, uh, you want some mail? Sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure to stop by every so often. It's a lot of work to run a shop. So true. All right. Um, so it's 5 p.m., which means that we can't do the Marnie thing. Uh, maybe Elliot is at the, the museum. Maybe he's reading at the library. Elliot. Elliot. Are you here? Yes! Yes! Elliot! Well, we donated a lot of stuff. Elliot! This is for me, marvelous. <laughs> that wasn't that fun of a sound effect, but... It's been said that a pirate ship full of plundered gold shipwrecked here a long time ago. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna get going. And now I should... Since I can't do the Marnie thing, uh, I'm gonna go to Linus and give him his basket back before the berry season's over. Want some mayo? Um, let me just go find him. He is normally like in the mountains, right? Ooh, an ancient drum. I'm gonna run up there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the mountains. Ugh. I'm stretching too. So I've uh, I've been working on next week's stream schedule, and I had a moment earlier this week where I was like, you know what, I could do without streaming tomorrow. <laughs> it was my first day in a while that I was like. I kind of don't want to stream every day of the week. So I figured um, for... Wait, Demetrius, do you want some mayonnaise? What else do I have to say? I know a lot about nature thanks to science, but there's always a lot more to learn. So true. Uh, I figured for next week, I would only stream um, the streams I had plans for. Because every other, like for the past few weeks, I've been trying to fill up seven days. You know, I've been like, Oh, I could do this, I could do this, you know, like, I should try and find something to do on this day because I want to stream every day. And I was like, alright, next week, I'm just gonna stream the streams I want to do, you know? So then I write down all the streams I want to do, because I write them down before I, before I, uh, like, actually plan what day and what time to do them at. And I realized, I've got seven streams I want to do. <laughs> so I'll be streaming every day next week. <laughs> <sighs> I'm excited for each and every stream too. So I get so it's it's kind of funny. I I really am streaming this much just because I keep wanting to do these streams. <laughs> but maybe the week after that, I'll run out of ideas and I'll only stream like five days. <laughs> but we give Linus the basket. My basket. Thank you. This means a lot to me. You're welcome. Having fun with the streams? Yeah, I'm having a blast. Um, next week's streams are really similar to this week. I'm going to be doing another tuning stream. I'm going to be recording another pitch for, for Aido um, in CV Utau. That one might go smoother because I've downloaded set param. Um, but I really wanted to play Sonic Adventure twice next week. I was like, I want to get through the game, and I also really want to play the game. I've been tempted to play the game off stream, and I'm like, no! I'm gonna play it on stream! So, so I'm playing that twice next week. Um, what else? And then I'm doing another Pokemon, another Stardew Valley, because we might not actually get to the fair today, because, you know, I want to go under three hours. Um, and I definitely want to make it past year one. I want to play more Pokemon. I want to do another Pokemon stream because I want to maybe go to the next gym. There's just so many games I want to play that I realized I kind of got to stream every day or do multiple streams in one day. But I don't, I don't know if I have that energy yet. Although that would be fun to try and like build up. Although it might be hectic, <laughs> you know?
Maybe I'll start to plan streams for um, different kinds of games on the same day. Not all the time, but I'll, you know, experiment with like doing a day that's like um, colorful stage and like Sonic Adventure, you know, because two very different mindsets. Or like um, Stardew Valley and recording a or, or tuning a vocal sense, you know. I don't know how much more I'll do recording streams for Utao. I really only had two pitches planned for Ido, so. After the next one, that might be the last one, but. I've just got a lot of stuff planned, and I'm excited. And I'm also kind of re excited to do, um. Because it's no secret that I have like a 2.0 design, right? I think I've showed it to you guys. I've showed, I've had art commissioned of it. <laughs> um, and seeing uh, Mika, Mika Magica, who um, did her 3.0 debut last night, it kind of made me motivated to also work on that a bit more. There's just a lot of YouTubing stuff that I'm having fun with and I'm wanting to keep doing. But I also almost feel like there's not enough hours in the day, you know? I'm like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, and I want to do this, and I want to do this. It's getting late, but I'm at 119! Bats! It's freaking bats! Why is it always freaking bats? Get over- Oh, I don't have time for your games, mister. Ah. I also have so much stuff I want to do. Yeah. Can we make a... No. I cannot. I cannot make a bomb. Alright. Well. Ah. Yes! We got to the bottom of the mines! You found the skull key! Great! Let's go. That's a major accomplishment. We reached the bottom of the mines! And it's 1 a.m. Oh. Giddy giddy safe with the nine. Alright. Let's put stuff away. Also, yeah, I feel like I'm also realizing that uh, I have a lot of uh, like outside of VTubing, <laughs> there's also other stuff I do, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, I've got so much. I've got so much I want to do. Wait, where did I put these guys? Are they in another chest? Where did? Oh, I put the mushrooms in here. All right. Let's chuck that in there for now. Do I have enough time to make more? I need four hops. Do I have enough time to sell them? <laughs> okay. Gaming. Wow. 1.50 a.m. Uh. Speaking of not being enough hours in the day. Oh. <laughs> Down to the wire. All right. Let's see, what's today? Queen of Sauce rerun. So we probably eat pancakes. Oh, yeah. All right. Fortune teller. Somewhat mildly perturbed. Whatever. Cloudy with gusts of wind tomorrow. All right. Oh. Hi, Circus. Good morning. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Thank you. 
So, you've been here a while, and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this cutscene. That's why we ha we're having this. Well, did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Yay, we can now access Emily's sewing machine. To start tailoring, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment and see what unique styles are out there. Woo! All right. Let's see, is there anything to harvest? No. No. Good. Um, how are my animals doing? Ooh. Oh, the barn's upgraded. <gasps> we could buy a goat. We have to go to Marnie's anyway. You know what? Let's let's go buy a goat. Um, which- did I already milk you? No. Alright. Oh, we're making progress. Cause if we can buy this goat and grow it up before winter, we're set. We- we're gonna have the, the greenhouse by winter. I don't know if that's how that works. Like, I don't know if goats- Produce large goat milk that fast, but I mean, if we if we if we purchase a goat today, I'm just saying it might. Oh, also, actually, before we keep going, because we have to wait for stores to open, anyways, uh, I'm gonna run back, and now that we have extra space in the barn. I'm going to take out a whole bunch of hay so that we have more room in the silos. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of hay. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, Hopefully we'll be good for winter, but I mean, we're going to have a lot of animals. I'm not sure if we'll actually be like good, good for winter. I need to buy two heaters as well before the end of fall. I forgot. That's important. Also, Sam Gato. Hello. Welcome. All right. I'm just going to chop up a little bit. Still leave some so that it can grow. Are these worms? Yes. Three coal. I'll take that. All right, so let's chop this a little bit. Not too much, but you know. A little bit so that, like, just enough so it can regrow, but also enough so that we have... A little bit in stockpile. Boom. 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 All right. Now let's go to Marnie's. A lot of wheat cutting. Yeah, yeah. We are not fully cleaning up the farm, but just a little bit. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, I didn't bring a cave carrot. I forgot to bring a cave carrot. All right, well, let's buy a goat. Now I have to run back and grab a cave carrot. Oh. Oh. What should we name the goat? Gillard. Grabu. Tree. Trepley, Sakumo, Gratchley, Shini, Titchers, Snilbert. Oh, well, we gotta go with Snilbert. 
I'm gonna go with Snilbert. <laughs> Send little Snilbert to her new home. <laughs> Let's go say hi to Snilbert. I think any name that ends in Bert is pretty funny. Hubert. What else is there? I don't know. Bert's like a pretty... I feel like it's an underappreciated and underused... Oh my god, Snilbert? <laughs> underappreciated uh, suffix to a name, you know? Albert, that's pretty funny. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty funny. Alright, we needed a cave carrot. Cave carrot. Cave carrot. Cave carrot. Cave, cave carrot. Alright. Now let's go back to Marnie's again. I uh, probably see a little cutscene. Oh, wait. They're in These are encroaching on eggplants. No! Stop that! Alright. You guys, too! No! Stay back. Stay back. Alright, let's go see... Go see Marnie. And then maybe for the rest of the day, I'll just chop down trees because I do need more wood. We have a cave carrot. Here we go. Whoa, she's running. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Circus. Blump. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. No, no problem. It's funny how we have a whole cutscene for that. The skull key. Alright. Yeah, let's just chop down trees now. Let's collect some wood. I suppose it might be worth it to start thinking about upgrading my um my tools to gold, maybe? Now that we've finished the mines, uh, it would be a good idea to start, you know, getting gold before we even try and... We can't go to the desert, because that's after we unlock the bus, but... Um, I probably would want at least, like, a gold, gold pickaxe when we get there. I'm loving the cutscene, how you just throw it on the ground. Yeah, right? I mean, to be fair, it is a cave carrot. It's probably not going to get any more dirty by being put on the ground. If anything, I feel like Marnie would probably have to sweep, like, clean up the ground that it was placed on, you know? Marnie would have to be like, oh god, you just dropped it on the ground, huh? Wow. Well, now, now I'm going to scrub those floors, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But I mean, also she she runs a she runs an animal shop. She probably has, you know, animal stuff all throughout her her place. It probably smells great. <laughs> S slash s. That was sarcasm. I, I'm saying that in the way that it probably smells disgusting. <laughs> You know, I always worry about that, that like my sarcasm delivery isn't as over the top. I feel like the way that I do sarcasm is very mo m monotonous, you know, it's a bit monotone and it can lead to misunderstandings. <laughs> I just kind of, when I hear other people do sarcasm, I always give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, if someone says something completely outlandish, I don't assume that's actually how they think. I assume, oh, they're kidding. <laughs> you know? But then if they double down on it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's actually how you think? Which leads to me getting bamboozled. Plenty of times. 
But I think it's better that way than the other way around. A lot of people are smarter than you think they are in, in this world. But also a lot of people are a lot dumber than you think they are. <laughs> you really can't judge any book by its cover. <laughs> I just think for my own sanity, it's important to give people the benefit of the doubt, you know? But only once. I always forgive. But only once. <laughs> After that, no more. Mm -mm. You had your chance. You messed up my coffee order one time. I'm never coming back. Well, actually, two times. If you mess, if a store messes up one time, I'm like, all right, I'll come back. They do it a second time. Uh-uh, gone. Off of my list of stores I go to. <laughs> I get, I get one messed up order from Duncan. I'm like, okay, you guys, you probably had a bad day. I get a second messed up order from Duncan. I'm like, your days are numbered. You will rue the day that you have double-crossed me. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Is it like one forgiveness per person or one in total? One per person. Slash establishment. <laughs> I always forgive once. <laughs> forgive but never forget. It's kind of... It's more like... um forgive and forget in a lot of cases because I just have a bad memory. Like, the other way to get me to forgive someone is if you just play the long con. Because given it, give it enough years and I'll just forget what happened. Unless it was so over the top and egregious that I'll never forget. Which only happened like twice in my life. There's only like two people. Well, I guess actually one, now that I think about it. One person, though, like, never forgive. And it isn't, like, anyone I've had public beef with before. It's just, like, someone that... Like, the thing that they did was that they... <laughs> they impersonated me. <laughs> and if you impersonate me, I'm like, yo! I'm the copycat here. I'm the one who wrote the song. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's one surefire way to get on my bad side. Pretend to be me. Because, I mean, with someone with this much self-loathing, I don't know what you expect. Let's see, let's see. Let's... Oh, yeah, let's make some more gold. Because if I want to upgrade stuff in the future, I need plenty of gold bars. The Roblox circuses are all on thin ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If any of them come forward, they are on thin ice. I'd rather not know, but also I do, f I am more lenient with, with kids. Like, I mean, <laughs> kids are going to be silly because they're kids, you know? <laughs> they are, they are children. Their brains aren't fully developed. I hate everything I did when I was 16. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Anyways, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Fish focus. Salmon. Salmon return to their sprawling grounds in fall to lay eggs. That means the rivers are chock full of them. You can only find them in fall, so get out there and cast your pole. Alright, what's the fortune for today? Good humor. Weather. Is it gonna rain tomorrow? Cloudy. Ooh. I missed the rain. Oh. Oh, we can make a. We can make pickles. We are pickling corn. Yes. And we're getting more corn. Which I need to save the gold crops of. 
to remember that. Oh, eggplants. Water on my farm? You thirsty? Um, I don't have a well, but I have a huge pond. So, I guess, maybe. Oh, dang. All the yams are done. Right, let's... Did I accidentally put corn in the... No, I put corn in the seed maker. That's not what I wanted, but we got three. Well, okay, that's destiny. <laughs> let's plant three corn seeds. Dang, whatever. Okay. I don't actually think they'll grow in time, really, to yield much. Don't they take, like, two weeks to grow? <laughs> Alright, um, I need to save gold star crops. I'll just save every crop right now. Whatever. Well, except for the eggplants. I'm going to sell all the eggplants. Also, I have so many pickles, I think I can stop making them. Or I can start selling them. Whatever, whichever, whichever comes first. Alright. Um, we have some tree tappers. Also, since the eggplants, those eggplants grew... Whoops, it's this tree grew today, th this little batch right here, that's the sign that I've got a big storm coming. <laughs> so tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Which I'm, I'm excited for. I think that will finish uh, two quests. Two birds with one stone, as they say. Boom. All right. Yo, we're best friends. Whoa, full hearts. Wow, my cows love me. Except this one. <laughs> this one doesn't love me as much. Have I pet all my chickens? No. Did I pet my ducks? There we go. That was like a song. Alright. A duck feather! Uh, Elliot! Oh my gosh. We got a duck feather a lot quicker than I thought we would need one. Do I need it for, um, I do need it for the community center. Oh, what do I need it for? Bulletin board? Die bundle. Uh, we'll do, we'll use it for this one first, I suppose. Just, just because. So I need to I need to start actually using my duck eggs. <laughs> I've got so many. All right. Whoa. Look at all that pale ale. Four of them. You know that's pretty good. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. Yeah. Dang, what do I do now? Um, I guess we're mostly just waiting for the goat to grow up and the pumpkins to be done. Mm. Something was made. Oh, that was the cheese, probably. I guess maybe that means I should start fishing. Also, that wasn't the cheese. Huh. I'm just gonna go put the duck feather in the community center. Maybe that will. Oh! 
I was gonna say maybe then something will happen. Something happened on the way there. All right. We also just need to make money. Maybe we should also just start selling the mayonnaise. But I like to be try and be friends with everyone. It's nice, you know. Normally, I only focus one person at a time when I play, and just freely giving mayonnaise to everyone. Like, we've got... Like, not everyone likes us, but, you know, we've got two hearts with a lot of people, three hearts, four hearts with a lot more people than I normally do by now. Hmm. Hold on, I see worms. Um, Sam doesn't like mayonnaise. I don't think so. Haley, do you like mayonnaise? A gift for me? Thank you. I feel the urge to go shopping. Uh, girl, what's stopping you? Make your dreams come true. Go shopping, Haley. You can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. Unless you don't... Unless you ain't got no money. Then, um... Then just go window shop. Duck feather. Boop. Alright. Ooh, yeah. So, I've been getting back into listening to a lot of music lately. Because, I mean, I, I listen to music plenty, but I've been, like, actually, instead of, like, watching stuff while I do stuff, I've been listening to music. And last night I even had a moment where I just, like, you know, lay in bed and just listen to music instead of falling asleep. <laughs> Which, it was fun, but I've been really getting back into, like, the EDM style of stuff. I realized that, uh, that type of music is just fun for me to listen to. I have a lot of fun with it. And I've also been having kind of, like, realizations about music production. Wait, didn't I plant a bunch of trees here? Oh my god, I did. In that, I think with future music projects, I'm gonna, like, just kind of write what I want to write, even if it's simple or basic. Because I've been seeing, like, um, I think laying in bed and listening to Num Night Corn Repeat is a great feeling. Oh, it's great. <laughs> um, it seems like right now, I saw, like, I guess I saw it from a TikTok, which is a it's always a horrible way to start a story. It's always a horrible, like, I saw it on TikTok, Blech. you know, um, but the concept of how um, being unique and individual is being, like, commercialized, which I know is really funny to say as a VTuber, you know, um, but I realized that that's kind of been, like, what I felt stressed about with music a lot of the time was that it needs to be more unique than I immediately think of. Like, I'll always think of an idea and I'll be like, this sounds great, but then I'll immediately be like, well, it's boring. <laughs> you know? Or if I immediately come up with it, it must be simple. It must be bad. It must be basic, you know? Um, and I always reject that. I kind of reject my initial instincts with songwriting nowadays. Um, and I realized that does lead to fun experimentation. Ooh, worms. Why did those rooms have copper? Um, but it doesn't lead to, like it can also lead to stress and burnout. And it can also lead to just not being happy with your work, you know? So I've been like kind of coming to terms with the idea that I don't need to make everything I make be like super duper unique, you know? It doesn't need to be like easily marketable, easily pinpointable into a specific type of, like, you know, 
framing that's easy to understand. It can just be like kind of basic in a weird way, which I think is the best way to describe my default music writing, you know? And uh, it's been a lot of fun to think like that with writing stuff again. Unless, I don't know, unless, unless it's like a big deal, then I will try and be like, well, I need to make it marketable. But like, if I'm just writing for me, then I'm always like, I, I normally stress out about making it like the most unique and best thing ever. And it's like, I don't gotta do that. I can just have fun. I can just chill out. Just vibe. And it might not make sense because I'm sure people assume that I write stuff based on like, um, and based on like, just looking at my stuff from the outside looking in, it might, you might assume that I, uh, I'm not putting that much effort into it or like that I'm just writing bland pop when in reality, I'm thinking way too much about my stuff. <laughs> I know I've got some friends who are always like, you take the music writing too seriously. <laughs> not every song needs to be your magnum opus. And I'm like, no, it does. You don't understand. Every single new thing I write has to be better than the last thing. <laughs> I feel like this can tie into the idea that I think a lot of people assume that if someone kind of has found success in some way, um, that they might, th that they're becoming complacent or lazy. I don't know why it's a weird, it's, a, it's an assumption like that, but you know, there's that kind of innate like oh this person oh god this cutscene <laughs> let's see let's hold that thought let's hold this deep conversation if it's important enough i'll remember it after this cutscene <laughs> also hi star again <laughs> circus come stand next to the fire pit it feels great i was hoping you'd come by sometime I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. Well, you've been uncom uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Those sounds. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. It's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Thanks. How to craft wild bait. Awesome. <laughs> Also, wait, if I donate, can you do another Avi stream? Oh, like, Roblox? Roblox Avi? Maybe someday. <laughs> I think I might just do that on my own. You want me to donate? <laughs> um, oh, but I think what I was saying earlier was like, at least what it seems like, it seems like the assumption that a lot of people who like have found success already in some way kind of then become lazy you know and i feel like that's not the case with everyone or with most people even um like especially with music i feel like there's the assumption that um like musicians fall off and the reason they fall off is because that they don't take their craft as seriously as they should anymore or something you know and i think that's almost never the case <laughs> i think there can't be a more wrong statement about like musicians falling off or whatever i think it's with especially nowadays with musical genres and how fast trends come and go a musician can, like, have their ideal songwriting 
concept perfectly aligned with what's trendy for like a year. And then next year, they can uh, want to go a direction that not everyone else wants to go, you know? And then that scene is like falling off, which is definitely not the case. Um, because they might even put more work into their stuff, you know? Like I've, I've spoken to a lot of a lot of musicians who I think, like vocal producers, who people think have fallen off, that are definitely putting more work now than they've ever put in before, you know? Um, and on the other hand, too, it's like... <clears throat> what was... Uh... There was that, uh... That big, big VTuber. The... The... Not Bao, but the one that has the similar vibes. The one who's like an orca. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, did a little, like, talking about how much effort she puts into, like, acting as a VTuber. Like, her facial expressions and all that type of stuff. And I saw a lot of people being like, that's too much effort. Who would even do that? And to me, I was like, well, that tracks. Because if someone is, like, one of the most popular VTubers right now, of course they'd be doing stuff over the top, because to get up there, you gotta work really hard. It's not just, like, basic stuff that, like, happens to you on coincidence, and then, you know, you don't have to work hard for it. It's like, there's a lot of, lot of energy that goes into it. And I feel like we kind of assume that it's all up to luck when it comes to creative mediums, and that, one, and that once, people, once people find success, they, uh, they can kind of stop caring and fall off and stop working. That's absolutely not the case with in almost every single case I've seen. Unless they're like super famous. <laughs> I think some super duper famous people have fallen off for sure. <laughs> but all this to say, I feel like ironically, I'm gonna start going back to treating music how I treated it when I first started. And it's as more so like a hobby, just kind of not care what other people think about my music and just kind of write whatever I feel like writing, whatever I want to write. Unless I get commissioned to write your songs and then I'll take it very seriously, I promise. Next stage, if you're watching, I took your song very seriously. A bit too seriously, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> Worked a bit too hard on that one. <laughs> I, I spent sleepless nights being like, I gotta make it a bop, I gotta make it a banger. <laughs> but it was also fun. It's really fun to kind of try hard every now and then though. I think my issue is that I was doing it every single time. When it's not, trying really hard on music is something that you should do not every single time if you're writing a lot of songs. You should do it like, Every other time at most. <laughs> you should, if you're doing any creative medium, you don't always have to push yourself. You should be able to have fun. Give yourself freebies. Give yourself like just chill times. Like if you're an artist, just draw fun stuff. Like, you know, just draw simple, easy, fun stuff every now and then. That doesn't exactly, isn't the most groundbreaking thing. Cause it's fine. It's, it's, it's a good palate cleanser and it's a good way to make sure you don't burn out. Oh, I guess I harvested the 25 gold crops. Dang. You really are killing two birds with one stone today. Ironically, I think both of these quests, the 100 crops and the 25 gold star crops, give me the same reward. Let's sell the non-gold star eggplants. And let's grab 25 gold star crops that I don't care about. Um, let's see. I've got plenty of corn. You know what? Maybe we'll just do that. We'll do eggplants and corn. All right, I'm gonna go. Did I already, wait. Did I already go in my chicken coop? I didn't. I knew I was forgetting something.
But yeah, I guess to end my my long rant because I did kind of leave it off on you know not really a final thing is like a lot of people are working a lot harder than you think they are, even if it looks like they're not. They they probably are. <laughs> and similar to giving people the benefit of the doubt with sarcasm, I always give them the benefit of the doubt with how hard they're working, because. It's surprisingly easy online to look like you're not doing much when you are doing the most. <laughs> a carp? I can't catch fish. I've never heard of a fish before. Yay, Pierre's Prime Produce! And then we've shipped all the other eggplants, so that should happen tomorrow. Hey, Pierre. Here's some mayonnaise. My dream is to keep opening new stores until I become extremely wealthy. <laughs> Pierre's so funny. He's just a capitalist till the end. Also, I'm dropping frames on YouTube? Hello? Weird. I don't- I don't ever do that. I guess my ISP doesn't like me today. Sorry about that. It doesn't look like I'm dropping too many frames, but... I'm dropping 1.5% of my frames, which is... Annoying that it's always just a little bit, you know? I pay for the highest quality internet I can get around here, and it's never good enough. If I were less understanding of the fact that it would get me nowhere because I would just be complaining to a customer service rep, I would probably be a Karen in this moment. I would probably, you know. And also, if I didn't have as much social anxiety, I would probably be like, like if I had direct contact to the CEO of my ISP, I would be like, girl, what are you doing? You can't keep doing this. <laughs> The audio is fine. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. And hopefully it doesn't mess up the, the VOD. Is it ghost still a baby? Baby. Snowbird. I found the complaining on Twitter or DMing the company works best. You're right. You know, companies don't listen to you unless you've got over 10,000 followers on Twitter. But once you've got over 10,000 followers on Twitter, then they'll actually start listening to your complaints. We live in a dystopian future. <laughs> uh, I keep thinking about, what was it? Was it like a, a Jenny Nicholson tweet? Rice would know. If, if he's here. About like, comp like I think she said something about like complaining on Twitter, and like the only reason I got things solved was because I I used my platform. But they wouldn't have solved it if I hadn't done that. And it's so true. Sucks that it's like that. You know, for such a chill game, I feel like we're getting into kind of deep topics today. Not uncomfortably deep topics for me, but you know, like... <laughs> we're talking about capitalism and people, you know, not being what they seem and all that type of stuff. There's more than... There's more beneath the surface. More than what meets the eye. It's kind of funny. Yo, fruit! So I got some more cherries, but I need apples. These fruit bats need to grab me some apples. Let's 
put this stuff away. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Now I don't know what to spend my my energy on. Um. Let's see. What fish do I have? Not that much at all. Should I go... I only have a bamboo pole. Should I go buy another fishing pole? Should I go to... Should I go to the willies? Should we... Should we start fishing? Should we start... Should we start taking fishing a bit more seriously? I think maybe we should. Is Willie's place even open right now? Can I get to there on time? When does he close? I guess we're gonna find out. It's so eerily quiet. Where is everyone? Where's the BGM? Where's the cheery, upbeat music? Where there's no one here, there's no music. Are we in a Stardew Valley creepy pasta? Like, like what's happening? Just ocean sounds. Hey, Elliot. Uh, ahoy! Come in, make yourself at home. Aye, that's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. Just, eh, make sure to wash your hands good after dipping them in those juices. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks, lad. <laughs> so, you've been catching a lot of fish? Um, it's too difficult. Uh, yeah, sure, I've been catching a bit. Aha, a man after my own heart. You can always trust a fisherman. That's what my old pappy used to say, at least. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Uh, everything okay? I, well, business has been tough lately. It all started about the same time that whole community center fell to ruin. Me fish just don't sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. No time for me on projects. But if things pick back up around here, I might have the time to show you something. <laughs> yep, she's back there. An old friend that's seen better days. Someday, lad, you'll see what I mean. Okay. Anyways, I want a fishing rod. I want the fiberglass rod. Give me that. The fish are double bed. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. All right. See ya. Elliot. I don't have any blackberries for you, but would you like some mayonnaise? Never mind. Never mind. Forget what I said. I, I totally didn't want to give you another gift this week. It's fine. It w it would be a bit rude to give you more than two gifts a week, huh? Well, that that would be that would be that would be ridiculous. Ooh. <laughs> Alex, you want some mail? This is cool. Thanks. I'm going to do 200 sit-ups tonight. I'm pretty dedicated, aren't I? Need anything else? 200 sit-ups. I've given everyone so many gifts this week. Ah, who haven't I gifted? Linus, Lewis. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, thanks, this is great. Do you have any bee houses on your farm? I don't! Oh, hey, um, Shane. This is great, thanks. Don't you have work to do? Jody, do you... No, it's Caroline who hates mayo. Thank you, this makes my day really special. The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, 
Well, it's such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. Uh, help wanted. Carp. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll start fishing. Fiberglass is the one that we can use bait in, right? Right? I think so. Let's see. I got 40. There it is. Cool. All right. Let's uh, start fishing. Also, let's keep uh, smelting some gold. Because if I want to upgrade all my tools, I need a lot of it. <laughs> I need plenty. We ate it. <sighs> so true. Kind of wanted to play now, but I should be working. Stay strong. I, I promise. You, this game will be there later, but your deadlines might not. That's... That's... The best advice I can give you. Stay strong. I know it's tempting. But Stardew will, de will be there. Oh, hey. Do you want some mail? Thank you. This looks special. Fall is a sad time of year for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just won't talk to you for the entire season, I promise. Let's fish. Let's fish in the ocean. In the sea. Boom. <sighs> Fishing. Chilling. What? Ah. This is weird to do with the controller. I don't know if... I hope I'll be able to do, like... Catch every fish with the controller. Can you catch every type of fish with a training rod? Or is it just, like... Like, you can't catch the rare fish. Anchovy. Because the training rod, I know for sure you can't catch high quality fish. Like, these goldfish I'm catching that you could only. <laughs> goldfish. Uh, they would only be like normal quality. But. It makes it a lot easier to catch them because it like doubles the size of your bobber, the, the green bar. What do we get? A geode. Our skin will just be awful. Because to unlock Ginger Island, you don't need to catch high quality fish, you just need to catch fish. <sighs> Helicore. But I'm assuming, does that count the legendary fish? It probably does. Uh, it's fall. There's a legendary fish in fall, right? Mm. I've never caught legendary fish. I'm not good at the fishing aspect of this game. Or maybe I have caught a legendary fish and I forgot about it. I don't know. <sighs> Can this reach? Wow, it can. Albacore. Oh, it went away. Joja Cola. Great. It's easier if you have the bait, depending on what you want. Oh yeah, we can get different bait. I need to look up at crafting specific types of bait. Is it the cork bob bobber that makes it like your the green bar is like really big? Because I could use that. 
Also, maybe we'll start like farming and just, you know, trying to make um whatever dishes increase our fishing to make life easier. Maybe we'll try and take every shortcut that we can take because I do not have the skill. I say as I'm catching these fish, but these fish are like baby mode. These fish are like easy peasy. And even then I'm struggling with them. I'm, have, I'm having a bit of a... I should have, be having no problem with these guys, but... Wood! Well, would you look at that. The angler is a legendary one for fall. Uh... At the very least, hopefully this is leveling up my fishing so that it can catch up to my other skills. Because I don't want it to fall behind. Let's see, what am I at? All right, wrong one. Uh, fishing five. Fishing is my worst one right now. Combat six, fishing five. I need, I want fishing to be on par with combat. Also, I guess we, I think we're gonna level up fishing tonight because it, I have it at five, but it doesn't show me what I've picked. So I guess that means that I haven't picked yet, which is fine. That's a pretty big level up. Oh, what? Is there one that makes it easier to catch stuff? Or is it just all about the money? Because I don't super care about the money from fishing. Oh. Oh, well, it's gone. You love to see it. I'm gonna try one more time, then I should start running back. It's getting late, I'm running back. Oh, hey, Willie. If you really want to get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. Okay. <gasps> Elliot, hello. New achievement? My legs are stiff from sitting at my writing desk all night. Sometimes I envy you, Circus. Don't. I'm, I never move. <laughs> I'm also on a desk. All day. Every day. <laughs> I need to look at what that achievement is when I get back. Alright, I'm gonna also sell all this fish. Oi, oi. Oh, there's more. There's also so much stuff that's done on my farm at 1 a.m. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Well, well, I have time. Don't eat the hops. Why would you even think about doing that, you weirdo? Alright. Yeah, we're fine. We're good to go. Let's sleep. Good night. Level 8 foraging. Warp totem farm. And level 5 fishing. Let's see. Fisher. Fish worth 25% more. I don't know if I care about that. I'll be honest, I don't know if I care about that. 
Um, let's see. So let me look up fish. Fishing. What is the like level 10 thing that comes from each side of these? I feel like I almost want to do the crab pot one. Because if nothing increases the ease of catching fish, then just having crab pots do stuff might be better. Yeah, because otherwise it's just like fish are worth more money, and I don't super care about that right now. I mean, I do care about money, but I don't plan to get all my money from fishing, you know? So I, I want something that's practical. Something that isn't just more money. So I guess I'll do Trapper for now. But Pirate. I suppose Pirate would get money, but... You have to be skilled to get treasure chests. Yay, we did the crop order. Oh, delivery. Bring Wizard a carp. <gasps> I sold them all! Oh, well. The spirits are in good humor today. Nice. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. <gasps> nice. All right. So now, how easy is it to make a crab pot? Twenty-five wood, two copper. Wow, that is pretty easy. It's getting late. Oh, good night. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. Farewell. Hope you have a good rest. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, can I smelt more copper? How much copper do I have? I don't have that much. <gasps> I need to go into the mines to get copper. We can make at least like one crab pot. Let's just put it on my farm for now. That seems funny. And then, do I have a bunch of bug meat? I can make more bait. Oh yeah. We're, we are fine. We're set. We're good. Put all that in there? Dang. Alright, I'll, I'll still... I'll make a hundred. And then I still have 30 bug meat left over. Right. What's this? Oh, cool! Circus, I wanted to thank you for taking care of my special order. All the hard work you've done has been a great boost to Pelican Town's image. Here's a mini shipping bin as a token of my appreciation. Place it anywhere and I'll be sure to make a stop when I make my rounds. Cute! <gasps> Where should we put it? I guess I'll put it right here for now. That's cute! Oh, I haven't even taught, like, spoken to my animals. Also, we have all these fairy rose roses, but... I want to make a bee house. Maple syrup, iron bar, eight coal. Uh, I need to, how, can I make, like, a... A kiln? Charcoal kiln? Two copper bar. <gasps> okay, we're going to the mines today. <laughs> it has been decided... Then on this day, we are going to the mines. So I'm going to put some stuff that I don't need away. Well, I'll forget to pick, like, pick it back up if I don't take it with me, so I've got plenty of inventory space. All right. Let me say hello to my animals. 
Hello, friends. Hello. Wait, is the goat an adult? No. Stilbert's still a baby. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that was... That was a sprite. <laughs> it looked like the cow was leaning into it. To get milked. That was pretty funny. Do you have all the lyrics to your songs anywhere? Looking for someone new, but I couldn't find them. They should be on like the Bandcamp upload. Each track, if you click on them specifically, should have. Um, why am I going south? Why am I going north? They should have like the lyrics listed, I believe. I try and do that with all of them, but I might have forgotten for some. So, if I forgot, I apologize. But it should be there. getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Alright. We're going to the mines. Wait, I could have taken the mine cart. I'm so distracted. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I I know you shouldn't do this on stream, but I did tab out to Twitter for like two seconds as I was running, because I'm just so used to having to run and kind of turn my brain off. <laughs> Alright. We are looking. Four. Copper. Isn't there a quick way to do this, actually? Can't you, like, just go to, is it floors like 15 and 25? Or is that bugs? I'll do that for bugs as well. No copper. Oh. Well. So do you guys have any like upcoming games you're excited about? Cause the only one I can think of is the Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life remake. I talk about it like all the time. But I'm also kinda behind. I don't know what other games are coming out, you know? How's today's luck? I think it was alright. Right? It was like good, from what I recall. Fashion savvy new game. Oh, oh yeah, I've heard of that. Style, this the new style savvy. We have found zero copper. I'm starting to think it doesn't exist. Plenty of bugs. I'd like to report a bug. Copper deleted from Stardew Valley, not clickbait. Real? Don't call concerned damp at 3 a.m. You won't believe what happens next. Bugs. So many bugs. Also, I'll take the bugs and I'll take the fiber, but it's not what I'm after. What I'm after is copper. All I want is copper. None. There's one. We got four. Okay, here's some. Finally. All right, the copper has shown up once again. The copper is real. 
Oh. I was starting to get worried. I was like, is it a really unlucky day? Did I not check properly? Did I forget? Did I confuse today's luck with another day's luck? Maybe I did. I don't know. But we have 23 copper so far, so... We're getting places. I need a lot. Because I feel like crab pots are the type of thing that you should do en masse, you know? You should make, like, a bunch. And especially now that I made the recipe easier, I should make, like, a bunch. You know, not only do I never do fishing in this game, but when I do fishing, I never do crab pots. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So this is fun. This is ex this is exciting. This is interesting. And also, maybe I'll just keep going down. Maybe just going back and forth between 15 and 25. Maybe, like, they lowered the spawn rates or something on those floors specifically. I don't know. Bunch of bug meat for bait. Yeah! And I have a bunch now, but it doesn't hurt to collect more. It's useful. The earlier floors are also pretty fun once you get, like, you know. Oh, hello? Good weapons. Because then you can really just. Wham! one-shot stuff, you know? Also, I'm collecting rocks. I don't know if I need rocks right now, but, I mean, you never, you never know. It doesn't hurt to have some rocks. Some rocks. Some stonks in your rocks. I was trying to think if I'm hungry, but then I realized I actually ate, like, right before stream. When I recently bought some, like, bagged popcorn. Microwavable popcorn. Which I haven't... Like, I bought some big bags. And I'm... I've been having, like, the small bags for a while. Not all the time. But just when I do have microwave popcorn. I've, I've actually been, like... I bought this little box, like, when I first moved in. And I just now got through it. Like, six months later. And that's with my roommate also having some of it. So when I bought more, um, I got like the big microwavable bags, not like the snack bags. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to have a huge bag of popcorn. Just so much popcorn. I'm, I'm a popcorn fan. When I went to the movies uh, after coming back from, on my way back from Katsukan, um, I want to see... Oh god, bugs! It's infested. Uh, I want to see Titanic in 3D. And, um... I got a huge... Huge, huge, like, large bowl of popcorn there. Bucket, even. I think it's gen it was genuinely a bucket. And, um... I remember... I had missed movie theater popcorn so much that by the time that, like, Jack and Rose had, like, met for the first time, I already was, like, halfway through the bucket. And then by the time the scene happens where they're on, like, um, you know, the, uh, the Titanic spoilers, uh, you know, when they're on, like, the front of the from the ship and it's like oh, I'm flying ah I was done I, fi I finished my popcorn I was I was already done and that's like a third of the way into the movie at most you know I just I was scarfing that popcorn down I was tempted to go back for seconds but I also was so full I was like I want more 
My brain wants more, but my stomach is screaming. Stop! <laughs> Girl, you're full! <laughs> And also, it's kind of expensive. You know, movie theater popcorn is always expensive. But it it's a fun treat. I don't go to the movies that often. It's the first time I've been to a movie since Sonic. Not even Sonic 2. The first Sonic movie, which I watched right before COVID happened. I think it is a little funny that my last two movies I've watched... Granted, they were three years apart, but the last two movies I watched were... Sonic the Hedgehog and Titanic in 3D. <laughs> Not just normal Titanic, in 3D. <laughs> I think that's just like a funny juxtaposition. It says a lot about what type of person I am. <laughs> Cats 2019 was almost your last movie before COVID? Oh no! Well, at least you, you apparently... I'm assuming you at least watched something else after that. <laughs> I like movies, they're fun to watch. I really like older movies too. But newer ones are also fun. I like learning about new, you know, new stuff. Star Wars, they're not much better. Oh, I haven't seen any of the new Star Wars. My siblings were obsessed with the little, the rolly guy, the R2-D2 but round. You know? I don't know what he's called. I forget. I think he's orange. Oh, it's all in. I'll leave the mine. I've got a decent amount of copper. BB BB8? Oh, that sounds about right. Two cinemas shut down in my town during COVID, so now I only have the most expensive cinema left. Oh, no. I'm so sorry about that. I I moved away from my hometown. I wonder how the, how the cinemas there are doing. We didn't have many. Actually, I think the one I always used to go to might have closed. Now that, I, now that I'm thinking about it. Which means that there's not really any other options. <laughs> Unless you go out of town. But you know, that's how... that That's how my town always was. We didn't even have a Walmart. <laughs> you had to drive like 45 minutes to get to the nearest Walmart. It was that kind of like in the middle of nowhere. But also I think it might have been on purpose because it was like a resort town. So they were like, we don't even have Walmart here. What's that? We're just a cozy little town. Come come visit us. Come vacation here. <laughs> you know. Alright. Let's go to sleep. Oh, we didn't even make money. Oh, it's raining. Meow. Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, trout soup. There's something about fresh-caught trout that just gets me buzzing. Maybe it's the subtle taste of the river. At any rate, I've got a wonderful trout soup recipe to share with you today. Nice. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Oh. That's fine. Oh my god, we got a snail. <laughs> we got a snail. We can use that snail for the... Crab pot bundle? We can finish the crab pot bundle. And... We got pumpkins. We can finish... The fall bundle. 
Yo, we're finishing bundles today, man. Oh, and this tree grew, so you can put a tapper there. And then all the trees are tapped. <gasps> we're doing stuff. We're making progress. Alright, um... I'm gonna put... Why do I have all the gold quality stuff still saved? Now that I think about it, I should really be saving just the normal quality. Like, if I if anyone needs it for a quest, I should just save the normal quality one. But this is an epiphany I should work on in a little bit. <laughs> Although now this is full. Take the mixed seeds. Oh, I have an extra pumpkin seed. And also the fall seeds. Let's, let's plant these guys. The other thing I want to do is I want to make some more charcoal kilns. Wood and two copper. I think I want to do that right now because I need more, a lot more charcoal. But also I keep going at such a snail's pace. <laughs> snail's pace, get it? Because I caught a snail. Huh. When I only have one. So if I'm able to do like four at a time, maybe better. Yeah. Do I have an extra tapper? I thought I made enough for like everything. I do. Here it is. Now what I should do is I should wait to harvest these guys all at once. So when one of them's ready, they're all ready, you know? Now we can keep on smelting. All this copper. And once we do that, whoops. We can make so many different crab pots. Look at us go. All right, I also need to pay attention to my animals today because they're indoors. Which should make this both easier and harder. Wait, did I even, did I forget to collect eggs yesterday? Oh my gosh, I think I did. I'm falling behind. Oh no. Look at all these eggs. I'm gonna have to make another mayonnaise machine. Whoops. Yeah, we'll take that one, why not? I should definitely make another... cheese machine. I've got, I've got so much milk. Oh, goodness. All right. Whoa, and the pale ale is done. An eventful day on the farm. Uh -huh. All right. Let's grab these hops. One, two, three, four. No! I need to move that seed maker. Stop. Wait. 
I kind of I should have just waited to get hop seeds, I guess. Oh well. Let's put you like oh no somewhere weird. Uh, here. Yeah. All right, and also let's make a bunch of crab pots. Yes, four. getting so much stuff. I really stopped saying words because <laughs> I'm just so focused on like keeping up with everything that there is to do. Um, I think I'm at the point where I can chill out a bit. Um, Now, let's go to the community center and finish up two bundles. And then to unlock the greenhouse, all we gotta do is wait for, wait for Snilbert to grow up. And then when Snilbert grows up, we can uh, milk her. <laughs> and we just need to be best friends. And once we're best friends and she starts providing large milk, Look at the greenhouse. Is Marnie open on Sunday? Because I should buy the heaters for winter while I can. Snail! Bundle complete! Yay! Three crab pots! Yay! I'll take it! Um, fall crops. Here we go. Boom. Bundle complete. All we have to do now is this, the animal bundle. Either wool or a large goat milk. Bee house! Perfect. Perfect. I needed one. Whew. Because I just grew some fairy rose. So let's put this bee house next to the fairy rose. Down here. Let's put these crab pods down for tomorrow. Let's smelt some more copper. Can always use more stuff. Copper is used for a lot of stuff. I guess let's make some more some more coal with the wood. And where should I put the other crab pots? That works. Alright, and then let's go to Marnie's. See if she's open and uh, buy two heaters for winter. And then after that, I might call it here for today. Because again, I don't want to go over three hours because, uh, because of the Kodak debut. And also, I do kind of want to get up <laughs> and uh, do some other stuff for today. So let's buy two heaters. And let's see. Does Marnie want... Did I already give you two things this week? Nope. Hi, Circus. You look like you're soaked, you poor thing. I don't have an umbrella. It's surprising how many games have rain mechanics and they don't give you umbrellas. You know? Or even like a little raincoat. Like this just recently happened in Pokemon too. Super raining. You'd think our mom would have given us an umbrella or something. Nope. Ah, well. Alright, 
Let's put the heaters in here. Has one. Also, we can collect the mayo and maybe um, try and keep up with the eggs. Definitely need to make more cheese machines. I think the reason I didn't is don't they require hardwood? Yeah. <clears throat> We've got a few of those, but yeah. Let's put this right back here. That works. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, four of this hay, but one, two, three, four, five creatures. There you go. Now you've all got food. Right. Let's put some stuff away. Let's organize a little bit. How much hardwood do I have? 148. You know what? I think I can afford to make... some more cheese presses. Four. I'll make four more. Because as long as I have a hundred hardwood, I should be okay. Because that's how much you need for, like, to get, um, the horse, I believe. If we, are, if we do want to go do that at some point. Which I feel like we might be fairly close to. I guess I'll try and move all this stuff inside. Wait, no, but then how will they... They could escape. Oh. That's no good. Uh, I guess I'll just keep it outside. I hate it. Whatever. <laughs> At least we'll get stuff done quick. Even if I've just made a wall. It's okay, it's a little runway for, for the cows to... For when they walk out, they're gonna be like, you know, it's it's framing. It's it's fine. And I guess maybe for now I could move them over here once they're all done. All right. So for the rest of today, I'm gonna fish. Is there anything else? Mayor's shorts. Heh. <laughs> I know what to do about that one. <laughs> oh, hey, Clint. Alright, I'm gonna be fishing in the rain. Wait. Fishing. It's fishing time. It's efficient. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oof. Today's been a really chill Stardew day. Very, very mm -hmm. cozy. Very chill. There's some other streams, some other Stardew streams that tend to be a bit chaotic, but today's has felt productive, chill, nice, um, eggplant filled. 
We, we have plenty of eggplants. And I think I need to walk into Pierre's to get a, a cutscene, but I keep forgetting to do that, so I guess we'll do that next Stardew stream. Which, I'll be posting my schedule um, after this stream a little bit later tonight, and uh, I will have another Stardew stream on there. Because I want to finish the community center at the very least, and I really do want to go to Ginger Island. I don't think perfection or 100% is my goal. Well, I, but um, I want to try and get to Ginger Island at the very least. Or maybe we'll finish the community center, take a little break for like a week or two, and then come back like to try and get to Ginger Island. Because that was a major update added later on. So I'm sure a lot of people's save files are actually like that. Like they finished the community center... And then they re like, not restarted, but like they, you know, hopped into their save file and went to Ginger Island later. Unless it wasn't compatible. I wonder if it was. I always, whenever there's a Stardew update, I always restart. Are you guys like that? Whenever there's an update to a game, do you try and restart? Because I'm normally like that with every game. But recently I've been trying... Oh, achievement, mother catch. I've been trying to, like, be more open to just using my old save. Like with uh, Slime Rancher 2. They added that new area, and I was like, do I need to start over? No. I, I shouldn't. I should just go and explore there. And even then, it took me like an hour to get there, because I got lost. <laughs> Oh boy. Hello? What? Well. Sometimes I think I'm getting good at fishing and then I get immediately humbled. <sighs> oh well. I usually restart when there's a Minecraft update. That makes sense. Although I do think people, there's a lot of people who are also very attached to their Minecraft world, you know? Minecraft's one of those games that I love to start over, though. I find the most joy in taking my time unlocking, like, the power level ups, you know, like getting iron and then gold and stuff. It's why in multiplayer, when people kind of zoom straight to the nether and then they go straight to the end, I'm kind of, I kind of get bored. I'm like, well, now I'm not having fun. <laughs> If you give me a diamond sword and I've only been playing for an hour, I'm not having fun, you know? I like to take, like, three weeks to get up to get my first diamond. <laughs> I like to play it slow. I'm the opposite of a speedrunner, with Minecraft specifically. I'm just a Minecraft for building and exploring. That's valid. I'm a slow walker. Yes, you're right. The opposite of a speedrunner. Slow walker. Ender Dragon who? Right? One of these days, I should actually try and, like, finish a Minecraft playthrough. I started one a while ago. But I did it in tandem with a multiplayer server. And I got distracted by the multiplayer server. And I do like Minecraft. I like the, you know, the start to end vibe. Because I don't know when the last time was that I beat the Ender Dragon myself, you know? I didn't even touch anything. Huh. Alright. I guess that fish was like, well, this is my fate. I'm gonna sell all these fish though. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. If I needed any of those for the community center, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Shoot, maybe I did. Oh well. 
We're going to sleep. So you make more money making pale ale than fishing. And I fish for a few hours. Day 15 of fall. I think the fair is literally tomorrow, right? It's the 16th. I'm going to stop for today, but let's take a look at what today has in store. Got any tappers? Oh, buddy, I've got so many. Let's see. We've got a lot of trash. We've got a lot of trash, but we did get a crayfish. Oh, did I just pick up the... I don't want that. Um... Our corn is ready to harvest. Let's see, is this mail telling me about... I just want to remind you, Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Yeah, all right, so we're, we're going to be doing that when I get back the next time we stream, which I've got a plan. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. You might already know if, if you know, if you know, you know. Oh, and our goat grew up. We can start getting large goat milk eventually. Not right away, but eventually. <laughs> all right, but. That's gonna be it for me for today. Oh. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I had a lot of fun. Very chill Stardew stream. I'm really, really excited to uh, play more because Stardew is just chill and fun. It's always a good relaxing stream. Some streams can be stressful, but, but this one, Stardew is always a good time. <laughs> Um, but I'm also ending my stream a little early because um, if you're interested, a new VTuber group called Next uh, called Codex from Next Stage is going to be debuting. They're doing a live 3D concert. And um, I helped write one of their songs. I helped. I, I wrote it straight up. <laughs> so if you're interested, uh, please stop by there. But yeah, um, if not, that's chill too. Thanks so much for stopping by here. I'll be streaming again um, next week. I think I'll be on YouTube on Tuesday. Uh, we'll see. And uh, I'll post my schedule on my Twitter, which should be in the description of this stream. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your afternoon or evening, wherever it is, whatever time it is where you are. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.